Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to build an easy search form, a simple one, one that even beginners can follow along with. It'll be a simple multi-field search form. And we'll let you pick whether you want to do an AND search or an OR search. In other words, you have to meet all the search criteria or any of the search criteria. All right. Today's question comes from Grant in Decatur, Georgia, one of my Platinum members. Grant says, I've watched several of your videos on building a search form. They're all very helpful, but most are a little bit over my head. I'm not a VBA programmer, and I really don't want to learn how to program. Is there an easy, simple way you can show us how to just do a search form that brings up a query with my results? I need to be able to search on first name, last name, and email address, and sometimes it can be one, two, or all three of those that I need to look for. I really want a search form like you show because my users are clueless, and I don't want them to deal with queries and parameter prompts and such. Thanks. Okay, Grant. Yeah, you're right. A lot of the search, I got tons of different search forms and uh, finding records buttons and all kinds of stuff, but a lot of it requires programming because it's easier to do a lot of this stuff with a little VBA, but don't fret. We can certainly do this without programming. So let me show you how to do it. Now, although this is a beginner video, I do strongly recommend that you've watched my Access Beginner One class. You used to be surprised how many questions I get from people who, you know, had they only watched my Beginner One class, it would have answered their questions. Okay, so if you haven't watched this yet, go watch this. And if you don't have time to watch the whole four hour course, I do have this one available where I take that four hour class and I kind of condense it down into 30 minutes. I give you all the stuff like fast. So go watch this if you're in a hurry. But the four hour one is definitely better. It's got a lot more information in it. Now you will also need to know this stuff, how to get a value from an open form in order for us to use a form for the parameters for our query, right? So we can supply the information to the query that you're looking for. You have to be able to get that value off of an open form instead of getting that pop-up that says enter parameter value. So go watch this. You should know how to do wildcard searches. That's so you can look for any part of a string, right? Like part of a first name or part of a last name using the like keyword. Go watch this video on concatenation. That's putting two strings together with the ampersand sign. And go watch this one on the differences between and, or, and not. You learn my and across or down rule. All right, so go watch all of these first. These are all free. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. Go watch them and then come on back. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy of this off my website if you'd like to. And I have a whole series of videos on how I built this. It's got a real simple customer form. It's got a customer list form. You can list all your customers and pick one and click a button and open that one up. Or with a little bit of programming, a little tiny bit of programming, you can double click there and open it up, right? We got contacts every time you talk to that customer. We've got orders. Okay, there's a whole series of free videos on my website that explains how this was built. If you want to learn how, I'll put links down below in the links section. In any case, we're going to search for customers based on their first name, last name, or email address. Okay, so we're going to turn the main menu into our search form. Go to design view. This is my status box. I use it for displaying messages. We're just going to shrink that down because we don't really need it for this class. And we're going to Get rid of this button too. Well, we can just move it down out of the way. Okay, let's take this text box and let's, uh, you know what? Let's just delete it. We'll start fresh. Okay, let's go to form design. We'll grab a text box right there. We'll click right about there and drop that here. Okay, this is an unbound text box because this form isn't bound to any tables or queries. So it doesn't get data from anywhere. So any data that you type in this box is just for right now. It's not going to be saved anywhere. And that's fine for a search form, right? We don't, we're not trying to save this data in like a customer table or something. We just want to use it right now. Okay. So let's give it a good name. Let's call this the first name search box. Okay. That's the name of the box. Okay. And it does not have a control source. Normally in like a customer form, you'd put customer or, uh, first name in here, for example, as your control source. Now here's the label. I'm going to slide this over just a little bit, like right about there. Make it a little bit bigger. And let's make it white so we can actually see it because we got a dark background. I try to avoid the theme colors. I like to use the standard colors because they never change. The theme colors can change if the user changes the theme, which I don't like doing. 
All right, and this will be just first space name. That's a label, that's okay. All right, let's make two more fields. Copy, paste, paste. Did I do that? Control C to copy, Control V, Control V for paste. Okay, let's change the labels here. This will be last name, and this one will be email. Let's change the names of these boxes accordingly. This one will be last name search, and this one will be email search. Email search. No spaces. All right, no spaces in our table names, our field names, our form names, any of that stuff. Labels are fine. All right, let's save it. Control S. I'm going to close it and reopen it. Now, I got a button up here on my quick launch toolbar. All it is doing is opening up this main menu. So if you see me click on that, that's all that is. I got a whole separate video on that. All right, now we want to be able to type in stuff in here and open up a query that does the search for us, shows us the results, right? So let's create that query. Now, create query design. Let's close this. We don't need that yet. Let's bring in the customer table, which is where we're getting our data from, and then we can close the add tables pane, okay? Now, the fields that you wanna see in here are the fields that you bring over into the different columns here. Whether or not you wanna search on them, if you wanna see them, you can bring them in. So I'm gonna bring in customer name, first name, last name, and email. If you wanna see other stuff too, like country, phone, that's fine. Like if you, let's say you wanna do this so you can look up their phone number, you can bring the phone number in. You can see it in the results. Okay, let's save this as customer search queue. All right, and if I run it, now I get everybody. I don't want everybody. I want just people who match my criteria. So let's start with one. Let's start with just first name. Let me make this a little bit smaller so I can click on this guy. All right, so let's say I want to find everybody whose name is Richard. Okay, so normally if you want just an exact match, you'd come down here. And in the criteria, you'd say equals forms, exclamation point, main menu, F, exclamation point, first name search. There it is right there. Okay. And if I click on here and go shift F2, I zoom in so you can see the whole thing. Let me make the zoom in box smaller. All right, there we go. That's the zoom box. That's so you can see what's in that little teeny tiny field down there without me actually having to zoom the video. in. I use this thing a lot. It's not like Word and Excel where you can actually just zoom in and out, right? That's a, a note for the access development team, zooming in and out. <laughs> even, even in form viewer, it would be nice. <laughs> I know reports can do it, but forms can't. But even in design, that'd be great. I know that's, that's, that's tough, though. It's a, big, it's a big change. All right, so hit OK. Now, if I run this now, I see me. I see Richard, right? That's the only criteria you put in there. Okay, but what if I want to see... Save changes. What if I want to see just everybody with an R in their name or everyone that starts with an R? Okay, if I run it now, I get nobody. Well, run it now is over here. Where are you? Customer search, right? I get nobody because of my criteria. All right, I want to do a wildcard search. We got to open this up. Whoops, turn that back on. We got to open this up. And we have to use the like keyword, right? Like the wildcard video. So I'm going to say like that and a star on the end. So it's gonna put whatever you put in the box and a star on the end. That's concatenation. Okay, hit okay, save it. Let's close this and then reopen it again. And look at that. Now I got everybody whose name starts with an R. Because that's what I put in for my criteria, right? If I close this, if I change this and put, let's say a, a J in here and run it, there you go, there's all your J's. Okay. Now, what if you want that J to be anywhere in the field? Well, let's adjust this again. All right. Instead of putting the asterisks at the end, we can put one at the beginning too, right? Star and that. So the J can be anywhere in the first name search. Okay. Save it, close it, reopen it. And there you go. Everybody with a J anywhere in that name shows up in the search. Okay, let's make a button real quick to open up this search query because I, I, I keep wanting to hit this button here. <laughs> so let's go into design view and we can make this button without any programming. Normally with little VBA programming, it's one line of code. It's do command open query. We don't have to worry about that. We can just use the wizard. All right, hit the command button wizard right there. Drop it there. Go to miscellaneous, 
run query, next, pick the customer search queue, next, and then put some text in here. Let's go search like that. All right, give it a name, search button, BTN, and then finish. All right, there's my search button. So now save that, close it, open it, put a K in here, search, and there's everybody with a K in their first name. Okay, now we got, the, we got the basics done, we got the foundation done. Next up, we're gonna learn how to do the same thing with the other two fields, and we'll learn how to do both an AND search and an OR search. And that's coming up in tomorrow's video. Tune in tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel, or sign up as a member, and you can watch it right now, because I'm about to record it in about five minutes. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. Come on back tomorrow. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, 
Find me on Twitter and, of course, on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.